नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर् चानल आयुर्वेद थ्री सिक्सटी सो इन दि प्रीवियस् एपिसोड्स आफ् दि सीरी एन सी ई एस एम न्यू गईड गैजेट नोटिफिकेशन फ्रम गवर्मेंट आफ् इंडिया सिक्सटीन फेब्रवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू वी हेव सीन सर्टन इंपारटेंट बेसिक्स लाइक समरी एक्साम रिलेटेड इंफर्मेशन एंड अदर रिक्वर्ड इंफर्मेशन ना इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंट टू सी सर्टन इंफर्मेशन इन रिलेशन टू इंटर्नशिप वाट आर द रेगुलेशन आन इंटर्नी सो वाच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड टू गेट अ कंप्लीट इंफर्मेशन so as you know that the internee are going to start their journey of you can say the house surgency once they are completing their three professional bms exams like all the papers should be cleared so basically it is specific for 12 months or otherwise 365 days it is counted as per the day 365 days so tentative schedule to begin the internship of any bms graduate is from march you know you can say by march and you should be getting the final year result april 1st of that specific year should be the actual time when the internship internship regularly starts normally starts if the batch is supplementary then it is from october 1st but regularly it is april onwards and if there is no delay by the student or due to any uh, other cause then the student will be completing his internship or on march 31st of the next year so that is how you can say it is Uh, divided that is 365 days what is the qualification how to qualify for internship all the papers should be cleared all the electives should be cleared and before entering into internship you should get provisionally registered in the state council wherever the institute is situated like if, if it is a rajasthan then board of indian medicine if it is a karnataka then kapu board if it is a bihar then bihar medical board so depending on the state you should be getting provisionally registered because is entering into or uh, you can say the vishikanu pravesha just before entering his own practice he is getting trained practically by the trained consultants so for practice he requires provisional registration so imagine you are giving uh, exams final year exams on 2023 or 24 and by any chance you are not able to do internship for the next 5 to 6 years then what happens the rule says within 10 years of joining of bms the student should be ent- entering the internship so i have given an example here so april 1st 2023 if the student has joined the college bms so basically it is uh, starting from october so if you take october october 1st then before october 1st 2033 should be starting the internship that is the rule if by any reason the student is not able to do internship within 10 years of joining then uh, he may he may not be able to complete the degree now this we have already discussed when to start so stipend for internee whether, whether it is available yes to certain extent most of the government colleges across the india state government run colleges they are providing the stipend even this deemed universities and central universities like uh, under the ayush ministry they are also paying certain amount as an internship stipend so usually stipend is a uh, fixed amount like a rem- remuneration it's not uh, a da linked in most of the cases so usually you can listen to your friends listening to their uh, stipend as something fixed like 15000 20 25 or something like that but in private aided colleges or government aided colleges private colleges you usually don't get much of the stipend maybe a minimum nominal amount of stipend like 5000 3000 or something like that maybe given and at certain uh, like places you don't even get this stipend so stipend is not fixed and it varies from state to state if it is a government institution then definitely stipend is available in certain states government pays good amount of stipend like in but in certain state like himachal pradesh and all you don't get that much of amount of stipend even during internship so regarding stipend in various parts of india that i am going to make video in the coming days already i have made video of stipend in relation to post graduation where multiple institutions are considered you can go through them to get a brief idea but regarding internship i'll be making video on in the coming days now if a student wants to migrate to internship so to some other institute for example he is he has done bms from a place a now he has to now he wants to go back to his hometown for internship he is a person belonging to uttar pradesh now he has done his bms through neet from bangalore now he wants to do his internship nearby his home so whether is is allowed to do that yes he is allowed to do that provided both the institutes are having no problem and mutual consent is taken no objection is given character certificate is given so they are able to transfer migrate but by paying certain amount it's not free of cost by paying certain amount as per the university rules now orientation program as soon as the student enters into the internship 
there will be seven days of orientation program conducted by the institute itself where multiple uh, new points or you can say public uh, approach points will be thought like medical ethics medical legal practices and all those things communication skills whatever the internee requires while handling the patient of course he has already been thought regarding examination and all those things in the bms course time itself but now he is entering into the profession as a uh, trainee and even patient sees them as a doctors themselves so that is why he should be having much more awareness regarding all these things especially the medico legal aspects communication skills so those things will be highlighted in the seven days of orientation program and these seven days are coming within 365 days these are not extra this will be covered within the uh, actual 365 days itself now at the beginning of orientation program each of the uh, internee will be given a e log book so the electronic log book where he should be recording all the data whatever is felt necessary by him and ultimately at the end of each program he should be taking the signature of the authority so after orientation program he should be completing that and after that every posting every day he has to update that it's a compulsory uh, procedure it has to be verified by each and every consultant under whom he is working and ultimately at the end of the year he has to submit this to the institute and institute has to keep a soft copy of the same and that is why you can say you cannot skip this part e log book is nothing but uh, you can say in college time what happens the teachers are uh, always uh, like you are under the observation of teachers but during internship you are moving here and there so whatever you have learned and whatever you are uh, uh, like want to present in the log book you can write on your own but ultimately consultant will be checking that now these 12 months can be divided uh, based on two like you can say patterns one is where the institute itself provides you 12 months of internship where you have done the ug or else you can say 10 plus 2 two months in the nearby phc or else another option is six months of internship in the institute where you have studied and six months in other uh, phcs and wherever the student requires to go or wants to go but this decision will be taken by the institute itself it is not under the end of uh, you can say the decision of the student it will be decided by the institute usually both patterns are observed all over the india so depending on the institute what you choose you can see if you feel like your own institute has so much to learn within 12 months then no problem you can opt that if not six months you can opt for the college what you have, uh, where your internship uh, is started and next six months you may move towards phcs phcs that is public health uh, service centers and others other like central and state related health uh, office offices you can do your internship there you can get exposed to most of the public health awareness programs these national immunization and such kind of programs programs even the communication skills are going to improve you have to take the attendance verified by the concerned consultant there at the end of the year you have to submit that your 12 months or 365 days is complete then you will be given the intern internship completion certificate so based on this six months and 12 months policy the division of opds will be given by the uh, institute and it will be in this pattern i'm not going to tell in detail different opds like uh, pediatrics or ent related or you can say the general medicine related each of them will be given equal preferences so that the student gets to learn ashtanga ayurveda in detail so after that there is another program which is called as public health program online basis this has to be attended attended by the internee as and when told by ncism so apart from his 365 days of his duty he has to attend this to be eligible for completion of internship now each of the department wherever he is working like we are wherever he has been posted will be assessing his performance based on a standard performa the template is mentioned here so he has to fill this performa under each department like for example imagine he is posted one month in surgical opd he has finished his duties at the end of that 30th day he will be given uh, he will have to submit this paper and he'll, his assessment will be filled by the in charge of that particular unit and after that this half part this is another half part of that so at the end of that he'll, his overall marks will be given and certain gradations performance gradations are mentioned here this is just for documentation purpose not that much important only thing is he has to satisfactorily complete the posting 50 percent is sufficient to clear the opd duties or you can say the performance of that particular opd by chance if he has fail to perform at least 50 percent of that assessment marks maybe due to the negligence or it could be some other issue then he'll have to again be posted he'll have to be again posted in the same opd 
but <clears throat> only for 30 percent of the total days initially imagine he had uh, 30 days of opd there he is not uh, as he is like his performance is very bad so he will be posted again 30 percent of that which means 10 days or 8 days he'll have to work again there so that he gets cleared that in that aspect if he feels that he has been unfairly given uh, less marks then he can even approach the head of that uh, head of the department where the grievance will be uh, heard so this performance i mean this uh, this kind of uh, opportunity is also given for the student so that if there is any unfair means maybe some consultant is not in favor of you, you may purposely make you get uh, less than 50 percent and you may have to work under him again so that should not happen for that purpose to reassess the uh, grievance there is opportunity for the interning so in that way there is no problem with that and regarding leaves overall in the internship 12 leaves will be given called as casual leaves and at any point of time you will not be given six continuous leaves for example imagine there are there are two holidays like sunday and there is a, another uh, festival in between so you have you want to take four days holidays in between so that six days will be continuous so that is not possible each institute will be giving you maximum three to four cls at a time so if you are from far away place you can plan your journey in that way there could be some customization based on your performance from each institute so depending on where you are doing internship you may confirm regarding this but ultimately 12 leaves will be given at the end of the year uh, by the end of the year if you are not availed then there is no use if you are uh, if you have availed more than 12 leaves which means your internship duty will extend so in 365 days 353 days you will have to work 12 leaves will be given by chance more than 12 leaves are taken a day will be extended imagine one month you went for some program so your internship will be delayed by another one month so in that way delay will be there to complete the internship so ultimately 365 days when it gets completed you will be given the completion of the internship imagine you are by any means or by any cause you are not able to complete it in 365 days then what happens then within the three years from the uh, last date of you can say date of announcement of final exam you will have to complete that with prior permission to the HOD or you can say prior permission to the in charge of the internship so most probably it will be the medical superintendent who will be in charge of internee so you will have to take permission from them and then only you can go for uh, you can say some uh, leave leave where uh, it, it is considered otherwise you may be given notice like you are not coming for internship then there may be issue with the degree now at the end of internship the internship completion certificate which is very much required in all aspects will be given to you and this kind of template will be uh, given to you each and every department wherever you have worked um, from when to when how many days in each opd and ultimately how many days internship you have done this will be finally given by the institute where you have uh, worked so imagine you have worked six months in the uh, parent institute and six months in phc then when you, once you come back to your college your college will fill this form and give you internship completion certificate so wherever you are going for duty you have to take the duty sign from them like this many days i have worked under you give me attendance and verify this and at the end of the year all those documents will be uh, given to the institute institute will go through that verify and ultimately give you the internship completion certificate in this way so after that you are eligible to get the degree certificate from the university so this is how your internship is going to be planned so during this time your focus should be on learning the skills uh, of managing the patient through communication and how to plan the prescription how much uh, like what are the other things to be considered while giving medicines and even the public awareness programs how to involve in the, all those things what are the recent advances in medical system all these things are should are to be learned during internship otherwise you will not be able to get that you can say knack of handling the patient even though you may be topper in your institute you may not be having that knack of getting the patients in due course of time so in the coming videos we will be discussing certain other part the remaining portion of this gadget where mainly the electives and certain other new suggestions and all those things are mentioned so we'll see that in brief whenever these uh, notifications are given in detail so till then you can watch our other videos where we have given detailed explanation of certain topics in relation to first bms second bms third bms and even to pg level some general public awareness videos are also there certain information in relation to post graduation and other institutes are also there so watch them if you like our content kindly like share and subscribe to our channel kindly ask your other ayurveda loving friends to know about our channel so until next time myself dr nandish day 